<clears throat> Hi, this is Danielle Zania. I'm doing a vlog and have a few things. First of all, uh, there's a possibility. Well, not really possibly. I just do this video in case you only hear from me on Friday. Then I just disappear off the face of the earth. Well, apparently, um, the reason is is I'm on a trial in regards to the garment issue at the corner shop where where there was discrimination. Um, I stood up for myself and um, out of protest took the sign and uh, and he set me on trial um, for harassment with this sort of thing. So I won't be there's a possibility I don't know, depending on how the outcome of this is. And also as well, um, I currently um, as well being sick and, and vomited out of the shop and that's included in the whole charge against me. And um, I really hope I win this thing. And the thing is, where I'm very much concerned is due for that is um, part of this and um, they are hoping to do an excuse to actually detain me for good and, and then take me and then probably send me some laboratory somewhere and dissect me and things like that which, which I am concerned because at the moment when I was in hospital um, they, ha they forced me to go through a scanner um, and before I, I, I went to have my ear checked up, <coughs> I went with a scanner, and um, uh, before I had my um, hair, my ear checked up, and when I went to the scanner, uh, the lines went off, and I was like, what the hell? Did all this for an ear check? It's like, and it was too defoyous people. And when I posted this on Facebook, um, that's when I started um, having been attacked on Facebook, where my account is two accounts and I blocked for three days, where they removed my password and then blocked me for three days. And I'm just wondering if it was part of this, um, so that I. I'm silenced uh, and I don't make much noise on the internet about it as much as possible. So basically, they're trying to um, silence me in the same where something go, goes wrong, I can't call for help. So I'm just doing this video uh, in case you don't hear from me on Friday. Um, if you hear from me on Friday, I'll do a quick vlog. Or I might upload um, some music or something like that. Um, first, um, um, so basically, a G4S was on my case. Um, before I started getting blocked on Facebook, G4S rang my doorbell. Um, so they want to make it, uh, they want to get hold of me and they want to I do have a conspiracy that they want to capture me extract my uh, more DNA because apparently they've only got a small amount uh, from the police when they come up with it with this um, uh, trial and what is quite funny is um, the police had to take um, put me in the database again because um, my records disappeared um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it disappeared again and go somewhere deeper into the, the government or whatever but um, um, so um, I think they want to gossip me or something like that uh, and I'm pretty scared, I'm pretty nervous. Um, um, I'm worried that I'll have 
anxiety attack in the court. Um, when people ask questions and repeat them too often, you know, I've given them my answer already. Um, that's what I'm nervous about. Um, and yeah, I've been working on this large art, digital art piece for so many hours because I was hoping that I'll get into the lash artist, but currently I didn't, so uh, uh, but rejected for that application, so I was deeply uh, upset. Um, no, it's like infinite, infinite rejection um, um, affects me. Um, what actually helped was uh, one of the admin who taught me a technique of redlining because apparently my limbs were in, had some legs were stricter than others. But um, um, I've learned a new technique so this should get me in. Um, even though I've noticed that some people do have a lot more areas on that website. But I won't um, um, harp on the subject because, you know, everyone's, they're not machines in the sense we can't take photographs of, 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 of things or create them that we can do. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, what things so are just switching up to get in the second time. Um, also, as well, I was a bit um, uh, peed off um, because um, Kazak took part of Hint Out Boundary. Um, I found his Facebook page and I put a comment to you know any websites like Hintout Boundary, and by the way, I like a lot. And um, that comment got deleted. And um, and I just thought it was a bit rather late because I posted that um, a week um, before that he got removed the comment, um, and he came back from holiday. Um, post uh, I just don't get it. Um, this is what I what I'm you know frustrated about with the Online art communities is trying to get rid of this perception about me. I didn't know it was really that bad. Uh, um, but it's very. It, I just want to smash this perception right out of the window. Uh, put the lid on it, but it keeps coming out with stinky semen. But um. um was one which gave me a clue to part of the reasons. Not really just my amount of money, um, which I was a bit right, is um, my feelings about this perception about me um, from the drama of the problems I had two years ago. You know, I just wish people would be more tolerant for insect people when they come out and discover thing and they need to express themselves out because putting them in a box and trying to shut them up it just causes a scar. So and and yet something's two years old but it's still you know you'd think it's you'd be going the past it's two years old. But um people always bring it up um, Probably because of the fact that people don't look at your good points, they always look at your bad points. You know, everyone has good points and bad points. Um, even the artists I had a bit of a, a follow on when I was wanting to express myself when discovering the secret that was kept from me um, for, for 30 years, or tw actually 29 years. I presume it's two years old. Nine, I got to hear about it uh, definitely. Um, was kept for 29 years from me, and people just don't seem to um, get it. Let you blow off your steam and then 
settle down, but the thing is they hold on to the you like a ke kettle of boiling oil. All that is they holding on to letting the pressure's building inside and bang. And that's what basically happens. Um and so it's going all in around the internet and I'm just a bad person and this and that, that, that without seeing the real story behind it in real life. Just my sort of like um, internet image and the internet drama. Um, and the rejection was just aggravating the drama where I was got upset at the heart. And I, con I, con I, continued to I continued to persist. And the persistence just, uh, we just went all pear shaped. Um, and um it just went really bad. Um I still don't understand why I, I should be banned from the entire family for something that's three years old and why I should be battling um to be accepted by meeting online because of this issue. But um I'm giving this um a second chance um, on this um, this um, um, thing with lash artist and then a second try around, um, which means I have to create new work. I can't just pick old any old work like I did in my first try. Um, so I have to, but the thing is, with, with the work that I'm doing, I'm currently doing is taking it to the client. So I don't like to be surprised and pushed around. I like when I do work I like to just chill and um, enjoy it. Um but um with trying to get accepted it has been uh put in pressure on me um in a sense, but the thing is and the good thing is that it's helping me keep my mind off the upcoming trial. Um, but then instances with Facebook um, just distract me with the artwork and then back on the shop again. Um, so, yeah, so I just also want to let you know um, in regards to the anti extraterrestrial agenda. Uh, the Allies of Humanity will probably um, become a bit more pronounced, more aggressive, um, because I have a friend in Star Seed, which I actually put a, um, a blog entry about this. Um, the Allies of Humanity is a religious cult. They are theists. Um, they say they get their messages from God. Um, and basically it's an upgrade of Christianity in a sense. But um, it is very dogmatic and very subtle and a lot of mind programming. And they start coming up with these jargon words. Very much uh, like a cult. So, um, there's no, it's all very restricted and, um, to say that extraterrestrials are bad, this and that, and that we haven't been bathed and all that. So, um, it is a concern, um, our, and I'm, I can only give a recommendation. To, for people to try and avoid it, um, because so it doesn't grow into something that is disastrous, but it is part of the um, psyops plan for the last card at Carol Rosenfeld. Um, um, that is the, the final so called war. Uh, Efforts by the industrial military complex. See, there are reasons why um, the war is really 
pre-planned, pre-planned by the uh, elites. So, um, I just focused on, you know, basically going to be about awareness, and like the subtle um, mind programming, programming for people to dislike extraterrestrials um, and see them as a threat. Which is why I put those three important points. Um, very logical, very simple, and very true. That's number one. Um, extraterrestrials. Um, they not really. They. Uh, um, first of all, they are the light, but they're not. They, they won't um, be able to. Um, Invade is that they've got technology that's causing a lot of space trouble. Um, where if they had had that mindset of wanting to invade, they would have invaded already. Or most likely, which is would have been would be very unlikely, where they would have if they had that same mindset, they would have definitely um, killed themselves or on their planet. Um, so, and then two, they do not wish to exploit the resources and things like that, because they've got advanced technology, they can travel to the stars, and, um, and they can generate life from scratch, so they wouldn't need any control of anything, um, they wouldn't need, um, um to, um, and very planets because they're capable of terraforming so they can find any old damn rock in the galaxy and um, give it an atmosphere and terraform and then number two they, they also um, uh, can, uh, can, uh, can, uh, can uh, or uh, not, I mean replicate in this anything from any form of muck or any minerals and just these three logical things are very important and um, and which the people don't seem to see um, the world the ancient uh, alien astronaut theory says that it's terrestrials um, created earth people from monkeys um, in order to mine gold the, the word that theory is stupid in the sense where why would extraterrestrials who have advanced enough technology to travel vast distances of space would want to um, create a slave race where where they could actually feel, they could get hurt, they could feel pain, they could feel agony, they could feel suffering. It's, it's completely in, inhumane and mad, um, um, where they would have actually uh, would have created robots to mine the gold. Um, even if it's biological robots, where they won't have any emotion or feelings or things like that. So that theory is, I don't agree with that theory. Um, so it's all part of the anti-extraterrestrial. That's what I'm saying is that the part truth and the, the and it's kind of both and bullshit. Um, um, this is with a lot of things, um, in the internet, um, which is why I'm going to be very careful and analyze things and things. So, so I'll put down for the first one. Would you like to ask it?